We made it to Friday. TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Well, we got a little action, so let's go ahead and get updated. We're over here on spaceweather.com. And we got a chance of flares. So let's go ahead and I'll highlight some of the stuff. We got a little bit of activity, and we have upgraded the chance of an X-Class flare to 20%. And they say the source of it is AR-1339, which is one of the biggest ones in the last few years. The active region has rotated over the sun's eastern limb two days ago, and it's now turning towards the Earth. Well, it's not directly aimed at us yet, it's turning towards us. It's already unleashed 1x flare on the 3rd around 2027 UT. And this is your little movie, you can watch that. And the flare created waves of ionization in the upper atmosphere, altered the normal propagation of radio waves over Europe and the Americas. In Ireland, the flare's effect was felt even after dark. <clears throat> and we'll get into where we're at on that here after we go through this. A cloud of plasma, or CME, raced away from the blast at 1100 kilometers a second. The CME is not heading for Earth. The CME is not heading for Earth. It is, however, heading for Mercury and Venus. Okay. Analysts at the Goddard Space Weather Lab said the CME will hit Mercury on the 4th at about 16.14 UT and the messenger, the probe and this orbit in Mercury is going to be monitoring all the stuff that's getting, that Mercury's having to endure. And if it overwhelms the relatively weak magnetic field, it could scour material of the planet's surface creating a temporary atmosphere and adding material to Mercury's comet-like tail. It should hit Venus on the 5th. The gossamer cloud will probably break harmlessly against the top of the planet's ultra-dense atmosphere. Well, it's not aimed at us. We, did, we are going to catch a glancing blow, though. We already are getting some glancing blows from uh, a prior one that we're absorbing. And this is a little movie here and you can see all your different planets and we're the yellow one which would be here. I don't know if you can see my cursor blinking on and off but it's over here to the right. Right over here. Then you can just play it and you can watch it and you can see that we're not going to get directly messed up by it. We're going to go over, back over there and we will look at a few other things. Check in on everything else. And I'll bring that up again. 200 meters, only place I could find that had it this small. Don't know why, not going to ride them. Everywhere else, 400 meters. Well, let's go check a little more space weather. And you can see we've had some, uh, we're, we're in R3 right now for radio blackout in the past 24 hours. But currently it's in and not, not any worse than what it was before. Our three day forecast. Oh. I always click that one. I don't mean to click that one first. Okay. Now this is changeable if something does come about. But the three day forecast is mostly moderate but a chance of additional major flare activity a chance 
and we're already at, what I say, 20%. The primary source is expected to be the 1339. There may also be a contribution to the M flare from 1338. The magnetic geomagnetic field is expected to be unsettled with the chance for active periods for the first day, the fourth. Slight chance for storm level activity. The increase expected as a result of a glancing blow that occurred on Halloween. Uh, levels are expected to be quiet to unsettled on the fifth and quiet for the sixth. But this could be changed if an earthward directed CME is observed and associated with today's X-Class event. Okay. So that could be changed. And we'll look at the little different model. And this will omit all of the other planets and show it in a little bit different of a light. There we go. Yeah, we're on the we start this on the first and it runs. for days. And you can see we're the where I'm blinking here with the cursor. You can see your graph over here. That runs all the way to the sixth. So check the earthquakes out. We're not really getting anything from what I've been able to determine. We're simply stable. You can scan these areas over here. They're getting plenty of threes. In this little area over here in the Virgin Island, Puerto Rican region. It's not out of control there. You see the Chilean area on the third. And some four activity four seven four six. We come over here to the European area, and I really don't see anything in the Gulf of Aden or anything like that. China looks like they're fairly quiet for right now, and a couple of fives that they had. Japan, well, we'll go to Indonesia first. But along here looks relatively quiet. Sorry about you, New Zealand. On the first, it's a 4 8. But Japan looks like they're relatively quiet. Uh, they had a 5 1 on the third, and they've had a 5 on the uh, fourth. And you had a 4-2 on the third in Alaskan region there. Of course that 5 there was in Russia. And that was on the third. But the U.S. doesn't look too bad. I'm getting twos on the west coast right now. The Midwest looks like nothing going on at the moment. Let's take a look at our daily dose of what we're getting from Fukushima, and we still are. And this would be what does it say? The Xenon 133. All the way across the water, you can see the different color levels over here. You can read your chart up here. Whether you like it or not, you're getting it. You can believe what they tell you, 
but you'll end up being wrong. You can see it for yourself with the model. You don't have a choice. It's just coming and they're letting it. It's been eight months and now you're seeing things where they're telling you the level over in Japan at Fukushima was twice as much as what they had thought. They knew it all along. So, if they done lied to you once, are you going to keep believing it anymore when you can see it with your own eyes? Maybe you know someone that's gotten cancer, like I do, a family member, West Coast, California, Fukushima, poison comes over, people get sick. It's happening. Now let's take a look at, uh, I've got this set as you can see for the 8th at 9 o'clock at night and this would be when YE55 is, you know, it's dark and maybe it'll be able to be viewable about then. I'm just going to try a little more at night time in the daytime. Even though I'll be at work, I'll still be trying to look at it. And I brought this up to give you some perspective on where's the outlay of the planets. Remember we looked on Stellarium and we saw, I showed you where Mercury and Venus would be located at and the moon NYU 55 so if the Sun were the middle then you can see where Mercury and Venus will be and if you looked at the Sun they would be the left of it apparently wouldn't they so that gives you a little more idea it's like a JPL orbit diagram may but that's a little something to remind you of how it's going to outlay you know if you look you see two things well there you go if they're to the left of the Sun and they'll be moving like I said everything constant motion and then how about a little how about a little reminder of this? We don't want anybody to forget about there's people that are waiting for somebody else that we don't talk about very much. Matreya. Y'all remember this commercial? If the Christ or Buddha returned today, would you recognize him? The one awaited by all major religions has come when we least expected it. He is ready to emerge openly very soon. Look for a bright star shining in the sky night and day as a sign of his public emergence. Did you remember ever seeing that one? That would be Benjamin Cream, the old gray-haired I don't know what you would describe him as, spokesman for his false messiah. Because Maitreya is not the messiah. As far as I'm concerned, there is no Maitreya, it's all false. But if some guy shows up and tries to be him, well, you'll know he's not Jesus. Anyway, not very many people talk about that commercial. It's a, well, a couple of years old, maybe going on three or something. Maybe older than that. I Don't quote me on that. <clears throat> but it's a couple of years at least. So, I'm going to let everybody go. I just wanted to bring you all the updates that I could and then remind you about this here. Matreya Star, since we're looking up and seeing things. If anybody says anything about maybe it's Maitreya, well, you'll know this false. So God bless everyone. Have a good weekend. I'll talk to you soon. May God be with you. And keep looking up.